Hi everyone, uh, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel, Victoria Physics. I hope you all are fine and also practicing GNU plot along with me because uh, the exams are just about to begin from 3rd of April. So uh, how is your GNU plot progressing? Well, I have a question uh, in my chat box from a very uh, good student and uh, he has pointed out that uh, this was the last section that we have done in my previous class, and this was 3D plotting. And as mentioned, I'll be doing 2D, uh, uh, 3D parametric plot today. But one thing I have forgotten to mention in my previous class, this was the plot that had arrived in uh, three-dimensional plot. And when you click on this plot, look carefully, okay, this section, uh, when you uh, click on this, plot, you get a hand like structure. You can just rotate this part and see the variations and also the nature of the graph. From this, you can also uh, understand which part uh, falls in which uh, measurement site. Okay. So the measurements can be done better in this format. You have the scales right in front of you, you have the view match, and you can see in, in whichever way you want to rotate. This is a 360 degree rotation. So you can do whichever way you can rotate your graph. You can also uh, uh, stretch out the graph and uh, see how it turns out. I just forgot to show this uh, rotation part. So this, since this is a three-dimensional figure, so you will be able to see the movement and the measurement and the variations. Everything can be calculated. This is actually the beauty of uh, Python GNU plot, where you can uh, see the measurements and also the three-dimensional view and have a better concept about the functions that you have plotted. In two-dimensional view, you are unable to actually visualize this uh, picture. So it's a very good uh, form. So I hope now it's clear and we'll be moving to our next part. Okay, so just let me open a new window. Thank you so much uh, for pointing out this. And uh, of course, <laughs> I forgot to mention, um, please, uh, just a second. So I have opened up a fresh new page uh, to uh, start with 3D parametric plot. And uh, for this, we'll be considering uh, a function. For this, uh, you all know the function as spherical polar coordinate system. We'll be doing that part. And uh, we have two parameters like u and v, where we write uh, x as r cos v and cos u and y as r cos v sine u and z as r sine v. And for plotting, we'll be using since uh, three dimensional plot. So we'll write 3D uh, plotting, so s plot. Okay. So first, for doing a parametric plot, we have to set the parametric. So click on this set parametric. Okay. So you can see the dummy variable is now P for the curves and UV for the surface. Just as I mentioned, uh, we'll be plotting spherical polar coordinate system and uh, the two parameters will be U and Okay, so let's plot it sine u into cos v, sine u into cos v, sine u into sine v. and 
sine e. Okay. So I want to see these uh, three functions and press enter. So you have the plotting of these three functions. The plot is in spherical polar coordinate system and uh, the functions that are plotted is sine u cos v, sine u sine v, and sine u. Okay. Now, uh, if you want to see some other forms, like if you want to uh, use the hidden 3D uh, command, let's check how it works out okay? so that you can have a better view, better understanding of the plot. So write set within 3D. And as always, I mentioned, you have to write read plot. So it shows you how it turned out. Okay. Further, moving on to the next part, uh, let's write set x, y, plane as 0. Okay. And uh, set format. Let's use some more commands. Uh, all these uh, setting x, y plane and uh, within 3D and all this are already mentioned previously. So just uh, use these commands. Set isosamples. Uh, let's take isosamples as 40. Okay. And after that, Of this, um, let's take line D as this and line with this one. Okay, enter. Oh, I made a mistake. Sorry. Just simply plot. Okay. So I hope you are able to get a glimpse of the function of the 3D parametric plot. The plot is being shown in spherical polar coordinate system. And I have shown the variation over here. I have used XY plane zero format, ISO samples. You can take ISO samples as 40, 50. If you change this, like, uh, to 50 and just replot and see how it turns out, okay? Suppose I want to take uh, X samples as 50. I'm just scrolling the arrow keys to navigate in a different manner, okay? So again, replot. So you get the glimpse of how the changes appear. Okay. So this is actually a 3D plot. You can uh, rotate this plot uh, as per your desired uh, range and value, whichever way you want to calculate the value, whichever way you want to see it, which section you want to evaluate. Okay. These are some uh, very useful uh, features in chain of plots 3D parameters parametric plotting okay so moving on to the next part let's uh, do another parametric plot so since i have already uh, mentioned this set parametric ones i don't need to set parametric but still uh, when you people are writing this for the first time uh, you write let's take a new fresh page okay and show this So I have taken a fresh page so that uh, you all understand better. So again, I am writing set parametric and write the 
mutual commands x y plane zero set region three D. Okay, all these things will be uh, asked in the question to mention. So even even if it's not asked, you please mention because it will uh, make the graph more convenient in appearance, makes better appearance. Okay, and set my soil samples say as fifty. Okay, and then plot function say cos or V uh, into cos u. So cos v into cos u. Then let's take cos v into sin u. A very useful uh, tool is chain and plot this because you can plot in, in spherical polar coordinate as well. So it's very helpful. So let's pick sine v. An extra space was there, sine v. Okay. So I'm just willing to plot this section. Cos v cos u, cos v sine u, and sine. Okay. So press enter. Wow. Beautiful graph is being generated right in front of you. Okay, I hope you are able to understand how 3D parametric graph uh, works out. Okay. Now you can use, like before, as I mentioned, you can change the color by using set PM 3D. Let's check set PM 3D. And we plot. So the color is changed. Okay. You can check all this on your own and see the variations. I hope it's quite clear now. And also, the same thing you can rotate, you can change the axis, you can see whichever way it's useful for you. Okay. So over here also you can use RGB formula. Let's check how it appears. Set palette. Yes. Set. RGB formula. Uh, let's take 10. Twenty and fifteen, and again we plot. So it's coming like this. So I hope it's clear now. Okay. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and please practice this. Uh, sections, the parametric, the polar, the Gaussian functions, okay, and the rest of the videos that I have uploaded. Go through each of them, and I wish everybody uh, gives a very good exam, okay? This genius section helps you a lot, I, I hope. So share my uh, videos to others so that everybody can benefit, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel, okay? Thank you. Uh, and we'll do uh, plotting in double axis in our next class. Okay? Thank you. Stay safe.